Welcome back to the Becoming Spiritual YouTube channel. I am your host Baba and today we are going to pick up where we left off in regards to the Hermetic Laws. So last time we spoke on two, the other two um, of the, the Hermetic Laws and now we are going to do the final three. Alright, so today we are going to speak on the Law of Polarity the law of gender and the law of rhythm now let us just get right into it so the law of gender um in one of the lectures i did before i believe it was lecture number three we spoke on duality and that's really the the basis of the law of gender when we speak about gender right we can see from a biological perspective that both the male and the female human entity or even in other animal species contain male and female hormones right just in varying degrees and concentrations and it's the same with psychology now that we can really figure out that the, the psyche of the male or the female both contain masculine and feminine elements so this is a fundamental nature of existence even in trees in plants in animals no matter what you look at in nature in the universe there are such correspondences right so it is about one understanding that you both have masculine and feminine traits and when you are able to bring both sides together then you will be able to achieve your true potential right it's not before that because again a major part of knowing thyself is self-acceptance and as such you must look within self understand both your, your masculine and feminine traits and natures and unite them to become whole within self right uh, and most of these laws we're going to speak about today tie in to one another and if you hear a bit of thunder it's it's really raining right now where i am <laughs> right so when we speak on the law of polarity it basically speaks that all things are two sides of the same coin and let let me use the, the fourth chakra for an example hate and love are felt in the same place that is why they always say that there's a thin line between love and hate right they're 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 all very passionate right <laughs> you can be motivated in love and also motivated in hate right so all things are two sides of the same coin right it doesn't really matter what it is what you look at um if you re repress any aspect of yourself then you are automatically thrown to the other side right or the other polarity or extreme of that that particular um spectrum whatever you, it, it is right whether we want to speak in regards to, 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 to emotions, for example, right? You repress any aspect, any emotion, then it will become the other end, the other spectrum. And you know, you won't even, you don't even need to just look at this in regards to self, the chakras or emotions or anything along that line, right? But even in regards to how we see things, for example, if you, I, I am actually taking this example from a book that I am reading. But if you look at, for example, um, the Hindu um, god of, of protection, creation and destruction, which is Shiva, <clears throat> right? Um, his consort is Kali. And she is more regards the death and, and the destruction aspect of that energy. And it's the same that you will find with most deities that they have a consort or a counterpart that is not only the, the masculine or feminine um, part of themselves, but also the other polarity or extreme, 
right so it is again within that nature of duality to remain balanced right and re remain united in self right because you don't want to be on any end of any polarity right you want to be in the middle of all things right that you can choose and that you're not just being receptive to one end of of, of life or, or or existence because Right, as we spoke about in regards to vibration, you don't really want to be everything as a particular vibration. But let us not stray back to previous lectures. Let us actually finish up with this one. So we spoke on gender and polarity and um, rhythm. Right. So the idea that, that energy moves in a, in a straight line is an illusion. Right. Energy is more sporadic and it moves in cycles. Right, and that's why it's rhythmic. So, you know, I used to use this example in, in some of my conversations that <clears throat> in the Christian perspective in the Bible, they would tell us that we are born in sin. I'm not sure if it's in the Bible, but in the Christian perspective that we are born into sin. But we are not born into sin as in, you know, uh, some form of uncleanliness or being some lower nature. We are born into sign. Sign, S I N, as in the sign of X, which is basically trigonometry, right? Which basically gives you opposite, basically, you have neutral, high, and low, right? That's how that sine wave is basically correlated, and equal amounts of highs and lows, right? With a, a neutral ground in between. So the idea is that that gives you a bit of a, a representation as the, the nature of existence, right? We, we, we go through highs and lows and we'll have a little resting ground in between all of that, right? Every now and then. And that is the nature of life. That is the nature of the growth cycle of life. You know, you, you grow until like the age of 50 and then you start to grow down back to like being a child or a baby. Right, when you need someone to take care of you and all of these manner of things. So the, the nature of life is and, and, and energy and the universe is rhythmic. Right? You will not if you find yourself having a very, very good time for a while, eventually you will find yourself having some some rather negative experiences sometime after. Because the universe is always living is always existing in that state of of balance between extremes, right? So you can't ever have life operating in just positive at any one time or strictly negative, right? Both aspects, and back to the law of polarity too, that both are really one, one side. Positive and negative are friends, right? Good and evil are friends. That's, that is why the, the idea of, of even like p saying that Jesus and 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 Satan are are two different things are it's really not in the idea of of how the energy operates right we may have different deities by different names but the idea as to how energy moves in regards to positive and negative they are two sides of the same coin right so it's important that we can understand these laws and you can see how they all play are, are or rather are intertwined with one another right polarity and gender and rhythm and 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 all of these things you know and it, it's really it's really it really all works together right and once you understand this then you'll understand that you know if you live if you learn to live in a constant state of gratitude and that is a, a major secret in my mind at least um that to live in a constant state of gratitude, you'll, not that you'll be ignoring or be um, delusional about whatever your circumstance may be, but by living in gratitude, you'll be able to maintain a higher vibration and it will be easier to weather the storms that may come or will come because the nature of life is that you will have ups and downs. And sometimes it actually seems like you may be having more downs, right? Because the reality about the nature of life and existence, especially here on Earth, having this human experience, it is, is that it is suffering. It doesn't matter 
how well you try to live, you will experience all emotions. All right, and that is why I believe that for some religions that dictate that you must only live in a particular way, then you have members of that particular religion or sect living exactly the opposite of how they are taught to live. For example, you're in some religions that you're taught to suppress your sexual nature. So imagine that you're experiencing sexual emotions in that second chakra, right? And then you completely ignore or suppress it. What happens? It gets louder, right? Or even if you're experiencing hate, for example, and you tell yourself that you're not supposed to hate, so you suppress it, and then what happens? The hate grows stronger. It doesn't really matter what the emotion is. There's no way that you will be able to exist in 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 a in a in a in a unified way within self without allowing yourself to experience all things. It doesn't mean that you're going to linger what in whatever you're experiencing, but that you give yourself that grace that you're able to experience whatever it is that whatever emotion is 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 teaching you. And then you are able to choose after that. Which is why meditation again is so important because it allows you to view objectively right, without judging whether your thoughts, your feelings, or anything else. It's, it's a complete state of non-judgment and observation, all right? And, you know, you could even tie that back into science about, you know, really the scientific method and observing and all of that, right? But we're not going to go there. Today, the focus is on those laws, the law of polarity, the law of gender and rhythm. And these now collectively make up the, 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 the seven hermetic laws. This is the last three. We spoke about the other four before, right? Mentalism, vibration, correspondence, and all of that. So um, definitely, guys, again, the reminder is, you know, remember to at least put in 15 minutes every day meditation as you grow in consciousness, Right, because the more that you seek knowledge and seek to better serve, the more will be revealed to you. There is a part of the law of correspondence is that whatever you seek is seeking you. So if you're constantly um, prompted by your, your inner self to seek out, right, or to do things, then you'll be given more. You understand? Right, and again, try to live in a constant state of gratitude for no matter how small the blessings are be grateful for them and you will receive receive more right so so definitely guys um that's it for this lecture um again definitely um check out my book on amazon the link will be in the description as well uh, becoming spiritual a comprehensive guide to finding yourself it definitely has um, all the steps that you need to take in order, in order to actually get in tune with yourself. We, you know, in that book, I actually go more in depth about, you know, the various steps and the orders that, you know, it's best to take. You're going even about the natal chart, you know, the, the diet is, the chakras, you know, we do a bit of manifestation in there as well. And, you know, it's it's really it's really what what I would have wanted when I would have started my journey if if I if if someone was there to give me the steps right so definitely guys thanks again for tuning in um stay tuned for more definitely click the the the, the notification bell so you can stay up to date as to when I post another video um, for right now, definitely every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'll upload another video, right? And um, definitely subscribe and stay tuned. So with love and peace, take care, guys.